Hey everybody, hi dear, the Yorkshire Crafter. This is my third time trying to start this video. My mind keeps going blank. Um, I'm not going to go through anything I just said. Let's just crack on it because I don't know where this is going to go. So let's just do it. So today I'm doing my very first um, underwater card. It's going to be a 7x5. So here's my base. So I've got that ready. And... This is the card that's going to go on the base and this is the card that we are going to adapt so we'll do that first of all so you don't have to use any dice for this you do this the way you want to do it you can just cut it with your hands and do a fancy little hole which would be even better it'd look more realistic than what i'm trying to do i'm trying to have mine look like you're looking in through water ideally if I put a sheet of acetate there, that's not a bad idea. It could look like um, like you're looking in the glass. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. I'm not doing it on this one, but there you go. Right, this is 5 by 9 So your card is 5 by 7 So we're going to mark it half inches four times. But we're going to do it at either end. So we're doing half inch. First one. And then an inch. So effectively you're cutting an inch off each side so it takes it back down to the seven. Half an inch and an inch. And what it's going to give you, it's going to give you concave, is it? That kind of look. But when you press it back down, it just fit your envelope as a normal 7 by 5 So that's what we are attempting to do again today. That's all you need that for. So this is my worst bit, remembering which way to fold these. So I'm going to fold it back on itself. I don't suppose it really matters actually. In fact, on my practice one, I did it both ways. So that I knew that whichever way it had to go, it'd be fine for it. Rather than, I don't want to keep bending it too much and it become weak so that's exactly what I want because it's going to go flat onto your card like that and bounce back up so we're folding the one inch away and then the half an inch back on I think you can fold that on the right Ideally, you could do with that being absolutely spot on because it, you're pushing your limit to a, it is It will just fit in a 7 by 5 There we go. So I'm going to pull them back out. Oh, I don't even know why I did it first. I'm just going to take these off a minute. Where's my water? I'm just going to quickly... You can tell I ain't cleaned up after rehearsing it, see? Well, not rehearsing it. I just practised a few bits of it. Well, I was going to do this bit over yonder, but I'll show you anyway. So I'm using um, an arch die. So you don't have to just cut a square out, cut a wiggly line out. I think that would be even better. I really do. In fact, I have um, a stencil. And if I could cut round that, that would be more perfect. Because to me, that looks more water. Although it would have to be smaller because it would be too flimsy. So we're just doing it with this, and I'm only guessing, I'm not even measuring it. So where's my tape? Yeah, so this bit I was going to do over there, but I'll bring my die machine in instead. Because I'm going to have to move it twice, so I'm partially die cutting. And I'm going to go about there. When Normally when you see me use my... Um, die machine. I normally put my new plates in for it so you don't see how scruffy I work but I'm not this time. I'm literally working as is. I need to move this stuff off the back. That will do. Yeah I normally put clear plates on so you can't see the <coughs> excuse me the actual oh no get off 
mess. So flatten them back down, them that we've just bent. And we're partially die cutting. So I'm going to cut to about here, if you can see. Well, I'll show you. To about here. And pull that back out. And I'm going to unstick that. I'm going to turn it over. Slide it into them things so it's not moving now. And get it about where I want the end to be. Which is about level with that one. Stick that down. And you're going to partial cut again. And it should have cut a perfect hole. Oh, let's see. There we go, and I will save that for later. Put these away before I lose them. These are the um, Mama Elephant Archers, Infinity Archers. Surprising what you'll use them for, actually. I'll just have a quick drink of my coffee. Oh, that's nice. Right, so for the base, if you're brave enough, um, Miss that out and do it straight onto your um, card base because if you fold that back over, that is going to fit. If it's done right, we are going to fit that straight on, and there's your curve again. I don't think I'm brave enough to. Shall I risk it? No, I'm not. I'm doing it onto here, which is what I've done here. I've done it onto a base. So I know that I just need to glue it onto it front. And I'm going to go with that because I don't want to risk it not being right. So it doesn't matter how you do any of this inking because it's going to be totally covered up more or less. And we're going to splatter it. So, ideally, keep the middle bit, or like where you're going to put your mermaid, keep it lighter. So I know she's going to come in at an angle. So that's my main bit. I am doing it all over light, but that's the bit I want to try and keep in my head to keep clear. I'm not making sure every bit of it's covered. I'm coming in with lots of blues. But again, like I will say, it's the layering. Don't do the layering, you won't get the look. So I'm keeping it light in the middle of a camp. There we go. Now then, I covered these bits and I also covered that. Because when you see the inside of the card, I know that's why, but when you look through it, you can see the blue. Can you see that? So, again, I just did a, a little scruffy go over that. Now. That's all I want. I probably won't even do a different blue on that bit. It's a dead quick um, blending one, is this? So, again, all over. Don't do what I do. I, used, I kept creasing it. Even though this card looks quite technical, the most part of it is actually your stamping to make sure you get your stamping right. So that it's seen properly, if you know what I mean. Oh, see what I mean? I've done it again. I've got things that hold these down. I should be using them, shouldn't I? Do you know what? I know what I'm going to do. I've got my doodah under here that I haven't used for a long time. Let's have a look. Where are you? Here you are. 
let's try it on this there we go there we go i mean i've got my magnetic one which will hold it down there you go so that was tumbled glass we're now going to come in with salty ocean these are all distress oxides good thing about this mat is i can put that there and all it doesn't slide off or oh, it shouldn't should i say so again not putting it anywhere in particular just putting some on There's lots of blues to go on yet that's fine Bearing in mind, we want to keep that bit through the middle. Not light. I mean, I am going to come in with some of this, like that, but it is lighter than the edges. So I say, don't, no, you don't need to be able to blend. You really don't. I mean, by the time I finished, like the other one, you couldn't even tell I'd kept middle light. That will do for Salty Ocean. Then I came in with, what did I come in with? Let's have a look. Salvage Patina. Changed my brush for this one. Oh, I've been using the wrong brush anyway. Silly woman. Bit of Salvage Patina. It puts that bit of green into water slightly. I'm doing it more in the lighter places and leaving the you see the difference just them little bits yeah I tell you I've done some blending uh, some yeah some blending this weekend my arms are killing see I like that see a bit of difference with having a bit of green in totally different smell food don't know where that's coming from unless we'll be started tea already what are we nearly 10 o'clock yeah could have done we've been up since five o'clock this morning one little puppy started gipping like she was going to throw up and she never did i really spoiled that but hopefully the Stamping will cover it. Right, another greeny colour that we're going to put in is your peacock feathers. I thought I had them in. Oh, yeah. I missed the mermaid lagoon. I'll we'll put a bit of that in. Just have a quick sip of my coffee. Now, this is darker. There, it's lovely. It's a very colour, is that? Look at that. This is when, when you go like, you see Mediterranean Sea and you can see through it. That's what this makes me think of. Never believed this was true until I went abroad and I actually saw it for myself. Love it. I ain't got my inks ready, that's stamped in. Put them all away yesterday, I'm gonna finished. Put a bit of that through the middle. See, it is lighter, but I don't know why I never end up keeping it overly light. Um, is that enough? I really want that green to be seen. Yeah, it's pretty much matching, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we'll try a bit of this mermaid lagoon, but I don't think I'll need it now. So this is a bit fifth colour going on. So you're literally just layering them up. Yeah, I don't know that you can see that now. Oh, you can. Yeah, good choice. 
I'm not putting any in the middle this time. Oh, I'm just going to... That's it. And then we're going to come in with um, a darker one, which is your Uncharted Mariner, I want to say. Now, this is darker. And I'll probably edge with this when I've finished. But I'm going to put a bit on now. Just give us that deep, dark watercolour. See what it's like on edge. I think that was something that was missing on the last one. I want it to give it that depth when it's like when you're looking into the deep sea. Let's have a look. Yeah, you see, I didn't put that on the last one. Oh, it's definitely cooking. Wow, I'm up two flights and I can smell it. And we're only having, I think we're having bangers and mash. Nice season meal because we've got the grandkids for tea. Then Eden for the night. Then it's only a few weeks till we go away. Well, saying that, we've just been watching a programme about an aeroplane that went missing. And apparently, we've, we've only watched two episodes, there's three episodes. But apparently, um, this plane, it's a Malaysian plane, I want to say. It's never been found. And I am an absolute rubbish flyer. Absolute rubbish. I shut my eyes when we set off because my eyes start watering. Um, that's what I call it. I just, I'm just rubbish. It actually helps me having to over there because he gets excited. So, but yeah, watching this about this aeroplane going missing, it's just how does an aeroplane disappear completely? It's not normal. Something's not right, and nobody's admitting to it. But there you go. And this is what 2014. It went missing. And it's still not found, so I mean, I, I'm am I not a believer in hardly help me, but I do believe there's something a little fishy going on. There we go. Now that's left it lighter. That's what I should have done last time. That's left the lighter middle, isn't it? Now I always find stamping over oxides. You see the chalkiness through it, so. I'm going to give it a blast with air gun. Heat, heat gun. Why do I call it an air gun every time? So those are your oxides. What we use? 246. Just to make a bit of water. I'll take that off. I'll clean that later. Right, I'm going to dry them off. Because some of the... Um, stamping I'm doing I'm going to emboss it because then if I stamp like a fish on top of it the fish looks like it's behind the seaweed and stuff then so that's the idea I'm really sad mate, don't you just eight days like today? It's absolutely glorious outside. There's a nice little breeze, so it's what I call perfect drying weather for your clothes. And I've got absolutely no washing to do. I've washed, even went round yesterday washing all the floors and everything. Bedding's all clean on all the beds, everything's done. But it guts me that I can't actually get any washing out. I am really sad. Never mind. I'll have plenty to do when I get back from the holiday water. Right, 
Right. Although I can tell it hasn't dried very well. Where's my wipes? Just going to clean my hands. But I'll use my um, anti-static, if I remember. And then that should just stop it from sticking then altogether. Oh dear, they're very, very juicy. Right, wipe them on the bone. Just have a quick sip. I've actually got a queue of videos now waiting to be seen, which is good. I've already got two to go up. It's because I wanted to have some ready for when I go away. I wanted to still post while I was away. That would be my addiction. But, um, yeah, I've got two spare. So if I do this one today, that's two that I could pocket for me all of you. Because we're only going for a week. Which way around shall I put that? Let's have a look. So if I'm going to put that, I don't actually know where she is on the wheel. Right, I think I'm going to put her a bit higher up. Where's the... Yeah, a little bit higher, I think. And we might be able to see a bit of a tail. This is, what's the name, Zen, Zenith, Zenith, I'll have a look in a minute when I get to it. So I'll put that back where it were and we'll do it this way. Which is the brightest side. We'll go this way. Now then, keep checking so you know you're not like I've just done there. I've cut her head off. So if we want her head in her hair in, we're coming about there. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah. So we're not going to catch all the tail and it's hanging out anyway. Where is me? It will struggle to stamp at the bottom, but it doesn't matter because it'll be underneath anyway when it's hanging out like that. Right, let's get plenty of this on. Oh, well, I did say let's get plenty on, didn't I? It's all falling out. Look. It's a good job that this is like acrylic. So it'll just clean off with a wipe and go back to sticker. Right, hopefully that'll do. So I'm going to stamp her up in twilight and I didn't get my inks out so I do apologise for that. Watch it with the very bottom one. That's so many to go through. Oh, it's here. There it is. Right, so let's sink her up in that. I am going to eat in butter because I want to do some shimmer painting on a body and although I can see it on this practice one even when I because I always take a photo of my practice ones to see what they look like on photo you can't see the shimmer it's really disappointing right so I'm not so bothered about a tail because let's say that bottom bit's going to be covered up and then I'm going to be putting seaweed and stuff so about there is where I want it. I do have my tool. I always forget. This is my good old Scooby tool. Let's have a look. Yep, then we'll go for another. Just don't know where that is that. I think that could possibly do with the re-inking as well. On my practice one, I did it in black and I just thought it was too harsh. So that's why she's going in blue now. See, I still forgot and I just used it. That's the only thing after I find do, after using oxides, like she needs a lot more there. 
All right, we'll just do a head and a face. Yep, that's perfect. It's all filled in. Just give that a quick wipe off. Put that over there. And we shall emboss this. The rest of the embossing I can do just flat down because I'm not worried about how um how it takes. Well, there should be enough anti-static on to stop it sticking anyway. There we go. Maybe that is my way forward. More anti-static. There we go. Sorry, I went a bit quiet. I go into a world of my own sometimes. There you go. There she goes. So I'm just going to, I'll always keep checking. She fits perfect. So I'm going to put some seaweed and stuff in around the bottom and onto the frame. And I'm going to emboss it. So we'll go with, I'm going to go with this one first. This is the marine kelp. And I'm going to do it. Uh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it in this mark because I'm going to do it in... If you watched my haul the other day, um, I got some different coloured embossing powders and this is Earth Tone Olive and I may do some in, oh see it, that's lovely, but I feel it might get lost. Yeah, maybe not. I could do some in the cream, it might stand out too much. I know what I'll do with that. Right. I've bust my bag, that's why it's all over. Oh, look, it's got wet. Oh, that's a thought. I know why it's got wet. I'm supposed to have splashed it all already. Actually, I'm going to wipe all that off. Because by now I should have splashed it all. I don't want to do it when I do put the other ink on because... It will be a mess. Now this may not work now because I've done that. Let's just move this all out of the way. Oh, there's a doggy crane. So I'm just using my spray bottle. I want some bigger drops as well. So I'm just doing like an half pull on it. There we go. That's all it needed. That's weird that, isn't it? It's like that happened for a reason at side then. I don't even know what it's touched. But it's like it happened for a reason. There we go. That's better. Now it'll get another quick blast.
Right, let's get this done. So when I did the stamping before, I didn't realise, I forgot. I put it right up to edge and I forgot that this was going on top. So I might bring it in a little bit further this time. Um, I think that's fine. Yeah. Same at the other side. And I'll do one on either side of this. Oh, have I just forgot to use my anti-static then? Can't remember. Can't remember what I normally do. do it with the I'm not putting the lid on yet because I'm going to use it again so we're going to put on the green earth tone olive I mean there's probably a better colour you can use but I thought it was an amazing colour to use So nice. And then on this pen. See this is covering that crease up that I made now as well. Not, whatever that is that's touched there, it's not working on it, it's not covering it up. I'll sort that out when we finish. I have absolutely no idea what that is, it's not even taking the powder. How strange. Isn't that a lovely colour? I don't know why, but it seems to take a bit longer to heat up, does this green. These are the bits I should be able to cut out, aren't they? I don't even know if you can hear me when I'm in Boston. Oh, 
Well, we're done. There we go. That's better. You can see it this time. Yeah. So I'm going to put on some seaweed. There we go. Now then, I'm also getting the little one pound fish out, mini fish, because I'm going to put a few of them in as well. But this um, seaweed, I think I'm going to emboss some in that, see what it's like, the other one. Shall we have a quick go? And then I'm going to do some blue anyway. So I'll do the big ones first. And they're getting done in twilight. Let's have a look. So. Could have a piece going through her, couldn't we? Because she's embossed, none of it will touch her anyway. Yeah, I'm only going to put one more on and then I'm going to do a couple embossed. Let's go. Let's just go there. We can come back to it and put more on, can't we? So we'll do, do one of you going through the embossed bit already. So the emboss will revolve it so it just looks like it's behind. Yeah, I love that. I love how that works. Right, no, we'll do it with the embossing powder. This won't smudge it, will it? Where's my bag? Let's have a look. So I'm going to put a couple there. When you want it to come out, it doesn't even come out. No idea what this looks about like, like I say, I imagine it very much to blend into the background. I'm going to have you come down a bit further. And we'll do one here. I know I can put something behind this now and it'll go behind instead of on. Right, let's have a go at that. I'm going to put one more on. Away. 
So, oh, see, I think it's cold. Hopefully it'll stand out. Time will be on. I need to get a move on. So I'll just do the stamping at the top and we'll fix it up. Yeah, I think that's going to stand out, isn't it? Oh, it's a nice colour. Right, where did we put it? There. There. Was that it? Did we only put them on? Let's have a look. Yep. Right, I'll heat this and we'll put the few little fishies on back and then we'll put it together. That's the exciting bit. Oh, it does a different colour, look. Oh. oh. I'd like to it be in a different colour. Is what it is. Right. Okay, we'll stamp a few fish on. Um, we'll go for. Yes, I think we're just going to do it in green. Just do a couple of these. They don't really stand out once you've done them, but they're there, aren't they? So I'm going to do one floating through here so again it should the emboss should resist it yeah see it looks like it's behind I love it absolutely love it and we'll just do one up here there we go Have a little seahorse. Let's do it in Fantasia. I'm trying to rush it through now. See what I mean about it hiding? I love it. It's like it's in the background now. I'd like these stamps done, you know, facing different ways. I think that'd be great. We'll do one more and then I do have to colour the belly in. It'll take me two minutes, I promise. Let's do oh, that's not a fish. Let's do this little fish here. This one hasn't been stamped yet, so this should be interesting. And let's do it in Oh I don't know if red will take I'm gonna try pink. We can only try, can't we? Oh 
forgot to put any on this and they need to be on this for definite. Mm, I'll still do it. It's not going to stand out very well. I just want a couple of air bubbles. I'm quickly going to stamp this CRS out here. And little fishy. There we go. Put these away. Just gonna put the air bubbles on and I'm doing them in twilight. I was gonna second generation but I'm not so I've got a phone call coming through as well. Nobody's used to me not answering. There we go. Right, I'm going to put it together. Because time's ticking fast. On the other one, I put um, some of the words through, but you can do that if you want to do it. I'll let you compare when I've finished. Right, so we're literally going to glue them together now. So, get a strong glue. I'm using... Gina K connects. So I'm going to glow on the very first tab, the outside tab. My glue's not working. Oh, come on. How can it not be working? I've just used it. Outside tab, which way we're we going? We'll be in bottom first. So you just fiddling it up with the bottom. Just like that. Ideally, if you've got time, put some heavy on it. I need to get the other one done, so. Glue on the other side. I 
Oh, I didn't even colour her body in. I'll colour it in and show you. Honestly, it's so easy. In fact, I'll show you what I did it with. I just wet these. I got these from Etsy. They came from America. And they're just sparkly paints. You wet it, go over and because she's been embossed, um, it resists on the body. So it literally just shows through on the bit between. I'm gonna, if you can, I don't know if you can see on the body. Yeah, you can a bit. And these bits of acetate here, I'm not doing it on this one, but I put two sheets of, two pieces of acetate across it. And what it was for, I embossed and cut a load of these fish out. And it's gonna stand them on the sheet. But they, they were a bit too big. So I'm leaving them out. Good idea though, really good idea. So that's on. So your card will look like that. So when you put it into its envelope, it'll lay flat. And then when they open it, it stands up. This is what I mean about it looking like you're looking into it. Do you get what I mean? So I'm going to come off now. I'll colour her in and you'll get to see it then on photo. But I hope you've enjoyed it. It's somewhat a little different. I'll now stick it to base as well. I'll stick it down there. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, guys, I'm going to go. I need to answer this call as well. Hope you have a really good day. Happy crafting and I'll see you soon. Bye.